Hey guys, I have something special for you today because um, I have a game for you that is still not yet available. It's in a development, uh, so we got a prototype and it's a game from Colossal Games um, and it's a party game. So don't expect uh, anything super advanced where you can uh, build crazy strategies. It's for fun, it's for party and it's for laugh. So uh, let's go through. So let me introduce you to uh, B movies. It's called Demo Tape. I'm not sure if it's uh, the type title of the game or it's uh, because it's a prototype. As you can see, it's um, it looks like a VHS uh, tape in a paper sleeve that imitates that old paper sleeves where we could uh, put our VHS uh, video cassettes like this. And inside we have normal uh, normal box with the game. It looks like cassette also, so it's it, it, could, it looks very cool. And the B movie B movies refers, I guess, to the movies, rather bad movies from the 80s and 90s. Uh, as you can see, it's a H14 plus. I don't know why. Uh, I, we didn't play it yet, so maybe there is a reason. Uh, it's for three to six players, and run uh, time is 30 minutes to one hour. So short and fun. Uh, I, will, I will show you all the components, I will uh, uh, show you how this game works. Uh, just I, as I mentioned, please remember it's a prototype, so I'm not sure if the rulebook is completed, I'm not sure if um, they will change something or not. What I saw, there are some uh, uh, mistakes, some misprints on uh, tokens, so please remember it's a prototype. Okay, so let's go uh, inside the box. Uh, yeah, maybe I will show. Uh, maybe I will should tell you how this game <laughs> works briefly. Uh, the game is basically about making up the titles of the movies, making up pitch. I don't know how why it's called in the uh, um, in the rule book a pitch. I don't know this uh, this one. Uh, just, I mean I know this word, but I don't know how why it's used in this context. I will check it. Uh, so using. Uh, from two to four cards in your hand with different arts and with different titles Ca every card is different so uh, we don't have doubles in here uh, you need to make up that uh, you make up the title combining those cards and uh, if the title you made up is cool it's uh, appealing it's funny I don't know what kind of different criteria other players can have they will they, they will vote and decide uh, if they want to produce that kind of the movie or not and then you, the players will um, count the votes and to, uh, depending on um, if there's more yeses or more, more no's and different, who, different players will take uh, victory points which are actually popcorn tokens and that's it so let's go to uh, setup of the game okay so let, let's uh, begin let's open the box so what do we have here cards a lot of them i will, pick them. I will share about them at the end um, five clapboard tokens they look like this and they are used to track um, rounds of the game popcorn tokens in a, in a box and those are actually victory points tokens and as you can see like over here yeah we have misprints because this is a prototype i want to say it again and of course we got um, we got a uh, roll book, which is actually a, a leaflet, very short voting cards used for voting. Whether you want to uh, produce or not produce some kind of the movie. Here are the cards of the uh, those uh, companies. In a normal version of the game, every player is from different company. And there is actually uh, also second variant of the game with hidden uh, team roles. T hidden, how it's called? Hidden, hidden team variant. So players can be in uh, hidden teams. That's why we have two cards for each of the uh, companies. And of course, finally, the stack of the cards. 
magic ritual, shark, movie star, the future, guru, meteorite, Egyptian. A lot, a lot, a lot of cards with different um, words, with different graphics. Every card is different. We don't have du duplicates in here. We don't have uh, more uh, components in this game. So let's go to setup and playthrough. You know what? Actually, I discovered one thing, uh, as you can see. <laughs> uh, uh, intro text placeholder, so uh, there should be some flavor text in here. Uh, actually, we have spooky expansion tile cards and they're with that um, ghost symbol in the corner. I'm, I'm not sure if that will be in a core box or not. Maybe we have it in here because um, cause we've got a prototype to, to show you. Maybe that will be extra paid. I don't know. So setup of the game. First of all, uh, here's that, um, what's that? English words, box, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the box um, with uh, the quant tokens. Actually, all all tokens should be um, on this uh, hidden side, so you shouldn't see any numbers, because you will um, draw them. And I don't know. The, I think the better idea is to just use some kind of bag or bowl, or just uh, choose uh, uh, choose token not uh, not with uh, closed eyes or not. Uh, watching, I don't know. So I'm setting up the game for three players. So every player gets a set of those uh, cards. No, yes, and yes with the exclamation mark. So one player, second player, and third player. Every player should get one card with a different studio. So let's say over here we have Colossal, Colossal Films, Two Moons, Pictures, Devil, Peak production. It's no used for nothing, just for fun. Let's say the first player is the Colossal Films. And for three player game, we use all five um, clubboard tokens. So game will um, take five rounds. And final component, which is cards. Every player should uh, get five cards. Five. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. The rest is set near the box and the game is uh, set and ready to play. Let's go through uh, the gameplay. At the start of the each round, the player, player should have uh, five cards on a hand. Mm, I, uh, during the setup, everyone gets five cards, so I can st skip this. Let's say Colossal Films, that's his, uh, his hand. And there's a card with Tomb, with Degenerate, with Insane exorcism and brain collector and now the player takes the role of the screenwriter and make their pitch to other players who are the producers um, and uh, the producers will, will, will vote to either reject their pitch or make it uh, into a movie let's say player who is the screenwriter uh, using the cards in the hand must uh, bring up the idea of the movie of the title of the movie and must select Two to two to four cards um, in the hand and place them face up in front of them in any order they choose. Of course, you can use um, some uh, you know modifications like you can make cards uh, sound plural, uh, add, uh, add a and the, or make prepositions from, in, of, etc. And what do we have here? For example, let's say let let's use four, four cards, and my title, my pitch will be, I'm going to be so stupid, it will be exorcism, exorcism of insane, <laughs> of insane brain collector from tomb. And now other players using those uh, three cards, yes, with, uh, exclamation mark, a simple yes and no. They need to um, vote to either reject the pitch or to make the pitch into a movie. So each produ producer presents one of their uh, vote cards face down. Let's say the two moons player will choose yes 
and let's say devil pig will choose no and now each producer reveals their uh, own card so here we have yes here we have no and now what's gonna happen and now players need to count whether there we have more yes or more no's if we have more no's than yes cards the the pitch is rejected and the movie is not made uh, so the screenwriter the player with uh, those with uh, who made up the title um, needs to uh, discard own cards uh, face down and all players who draw uh, who voted no of course uh, can draw one popcorn token from from the box and actually they don't know what they will get because they of course they can get zero they can get four one and it's random so let's check what's gonna happen if we have uh, yes uh, votes on a table if the yes votes are greater than or equal to the number of no votes the pitch is accepted and the movie is produced and uh, you must remember yes and yes with exclamation mark are both counted as a uh, one yes vote uh, when we are totaling the uh, the votes uh, so what's gonna happen if we have uh, as though in this situation we have yes and no so yes um, uh, the yes votes are not greater than no but it's equal so a pitch is produced and uh, the player who is uh, the screenwriter gathers up all the title cards in the pitch and plays them uh, in order in a pile in front of them all players, uh, and I mean all producers that revealed a yes vote card, draw one popcorn token and place it in front of them. So simple yes is uh, just uh, one uh, popcorn token. But uh, all producers that revealed a yes with the exclamation mark uh, uh, can draw one popcorn to token for each title card in the screen screenwriter's movie. So in this situation, if we let's say if two moons played this card yes with exclamation he can uh, draw four four tokens and it's actually three six points and unfortunately that that card is like super extra card and it must be discarded after use those tokens popcorn tokens should be kept uh, hidden and actually that's the uh, whole uh, whole turn so let's say this player will keep his own cards in here so yes everyone takes uh, cards back to their hands so here only two cards here three cards and uh, the next player in clockwise order now takes their turn and again devil pick productions must uh, bring up some kind of title with uh, title with those cards we have as you can see mountain nerd damned cute magician damned cute nerd magician from mountains and that's the pitch and other players can now vote yes or no or um, in case of the player from colossal films he still has he or she still has yes with exclamation mark so let's say they voted no and no and both of them will just draw one popcorn because no is greater than yes and they will only get one card and unfortunately uh, movie is not accepted so it's it's just uh, discarded on the side and then two bones pictures again the, he makes he or she makes a movie and after one round this one token is discarded and game goes th th till five five rounds so uh, let's go briefly through hidden team variant the setup of the game is actually the same the one different thing is that those um, cards with um, studios are uh, not sh no uh, they are they're kept hidden through a whole game. They are not shown as a, in a normal a normal um, normal gameplay. And in, depending on how many players we have, 
the different type of the combination of the cards we have. So, for example, for three players, we have two copies of one studio and one copy of one random studio. So, for example, over here we have twice two moons and one uh, colossal films. We have to shuffle it and deal one card for each player. And at the end of the game, during the final cut, the players who are on the same team are from the same uh, studio, they add up their scores. So the, the, from the popcorns and, and from the cards, and that's the, the, their uh, score of the game. The player who was not in a team just doubles, um, uh, doubles their score, and that's it. As you can see, that game is not so difficult at all. I think explanation of the rules uh, will take more or less two minutes. Uh, so you can play it with everyone. Um, I don't know why it's uh, for for fourteen plus. Uh, I mean, uh, I mean age. Cool for parties and just for chilling and not burning your brain. So I hope you 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 like this video and uh, you will. You will give me thumbs up and subscribe our channel and see you in the next video. You know what? I'm going through all cards in the deck and I think now I know why the age limit is uh, 14. Check this out. You can make cannibal. Cute. <laughs> Cheerleader. Yes from space, that's my movie.